both of you, what do you think the potential is for each of your individual games this year? You guys focus on a lot of time. Um, I think anything can happen. The sky's the limit. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I think some of it is up to God, you know, but I think I held up my end of the bargain. You know, I'm going to let him take care of the rest. I mean, y yes, but we've been doubted before. When was our show, what we got this year, is nothing new. Uh, really similar. I mean, good personality. We have a good relationship. Similar defense. I mean, it, it doesn't really miss like we missed a beat. And we, we all are comfortable going into this season right now. That's exactly how we feel. Like it's, It hasn't been a drop off or any change for, I mean, we all have a good relationship with them too. So it wasn't like we had to form a relationship with our coach or, no, I we like I said, for like year two. Oh, I mean, he's a good quarterback. I've known him since high school. I remember at the opening and kind of camps and stuff. I've talked to him. Uh, no, he's he's a good quarterback. I I can definitely see how people think he'll be underrated and stuff like that. So I got nothing but positive things to say about him. Um, that I say the ball, the throws are on time. So out the breaks, the ball is coming. And so when it being a DB, you know, you can't come out your break any time slow because the ball is coming right now. And so I say that. How is that working in combination with what they have as receiver talent? How does that make it even more difficult? You're not, there's really not much room for error. Oh, yeah, no, there's, there's not room for error. It's, it's a good combination. Is that? That's right. Dominant. <laughs> I mean, a monster. That's really what a wall. The main thing I say. How to describe you? Yeah. Lockdown corner, man. Don't throw it his way. Please don't. Or please do. He gonna intercept it. <laughs> Thanks. Um, that stick with you, especially as a D-line, you know, when you get a uh, somebody who rushed for five touchdowns, it's like, dang, were we out there? Was, was one of us playing, you know? But we, we're going to figure it out. You know what I mean? That stick with you every time. And um, just some more to add to your preparation. You got to be prepared, you know, can't make no mental mistakes, can't be flawed, you know what I'm saying? Just got to. Got to take care of that this year. Um, if you want to be the best, you can be the best. You know, if you want to get drafted high, you can get drafted high. Uh, if you want to dominate in the biggest situations, the biggest games, you can do it. You know, if you want to lead the team, all you got to do is want to, and um, your actions show whether you want to or not. Yeah, so. Can you, can you repeat the question? Uh, I think it was a, mis a misconception about our talent. Uh, I think we won a lot, all those games with uh, very few new additions. You know, uh, we had the same guys that we had in 2020 who uh, lost all them games, you know. Uh, and I just think that all it takes is for us to put it together. And when we put it together, uh, like I keep on saying, the sky's the limit. So. 
No, uh, yeah, I agree with Mozzie said. Um, we set the culture now. We just got to keep it going, and that's the main thing that we just keep on making sure we get through the team. Oh, I mean, you can't really listen to all the outside noise. I mean, having Coach Harbaugh, it's always buzz and talk around NFL every single year. I, I didn't, I, I don't know. I didn't know. I didn't. I wasn't really thinking of it for real. I was just going by the day, and I, I believed he was gonna come back, and he did. And so, that we gonna get it done this year. There's nothing. That we gonna get it done this year. There's nothing special to it. Uh, I think people lose sight of the bigger picture sometimes. You get caught up in the smaller things, you know. Uh, everybody got to do, you know, what's best for them and their family at the end of the day. So when that stuff happened with Coach Harbaugh, you know, love to have him around. You know, love him to death. You know, I don't think anybody can lead this team like he does. Um, but you got to still handle your business. We was all still working out in the weight room. We were all still trying to get better, still trying to train. And if you let stuff like that cloud your, your, your vision, it's just going to steamroll and snowball into a bigger problem. You know? um, he is a funny guy. I don't really got no stories, though. But, you know, he's funny, though. I mean, I mean, he's just a good person. Like, I guess the story, I mean, my dad and Coach Harbaugh have such a good relationship. Like, they'll just call each other on the phone randomly. Like, I remember one time I was at home in May, and I walk in, and I'm like, what's up, Dad? And he was like, I was like, what you doing? He said, I'm on the phone with Coach Harbaugh just chatting. I was like, about what? They was like, nothing, just talking. And so, like, I must have, like, you know what I'm saying? Stories like that, just, he genuinely care about you. And so that's, man, you know, good story. I mean, yeah, they... They've been so close since recruiting, though. I remember we walked in on – it wasn't my first – it was like my sophomore year and then or junior year, and we went to his coaching office, and my dad told him, he was like, I just want you to treat my son like how you'll treat Jack, his son. And Coach Harbaugh wrote that on his whiteboard when recruiting. And to this day, still, if I walk in there, it's still on the whiteboard. And so, you know, it's just stuff like that to where, like, you don't forget, and you can't make it up, and so. I mean, I say yes, but like, we gotta win all of them. So every single year, it don't really matter what you did the last year and the previous years. It's about that game right now. So that's how we was looking at it. I mean, yeah, we knew what the record was the previous years, but like that didn't really matter when it came to, at noon on that day. And so that's how we looked at it. Oh, yeah, no, he for sure helps out with the DB sometimes. And him and Coach Klingscale, I mean, we just, I mean, it's the knowledge of the game, really. It's just, he's brought so much between both of them. And it just opens your eyes because, like, if you, you don't know what you don't know. So I didn't know. And then, but, like, now going to, like, games and, like, film studies and techniques is all just eye-opening and, you know, good asset to have. <laughs> No, they're like they're similar. Like they're they're very similar. I was surprised how similar they are. Like it's, they're very similar. I like them. I love both of them. Yeah, you know. Uh, I learned early that it was hard. It's hard to coach somebody who uh, is more critical than you. So 
Uh, no matter what anybody tells me, I'm the person that's most critical of my play. Even when I've had my best game, even when I've had my worst game, I know my plays that I needed to be better on. I know the plays that I won or lost, and I know how I'm feeling. And usually, I don't feel good about the game until I watch film and see what I went and did. So. Uh, yeah, but like, who else gonna do it? Can't nobody else be hard on me, man. I gotta be hard on myself. Oh yeah, for sure. I mean, Coach McDonald came one year, and my cook we did. So it was like, why would you try to change that? You know. And so, go get somebody as as similar as possible as you can. And I I think he did exactly that. And so yeah, I mean that's what we did. That's what we did. Um, I think we had great players that we knew were going to be great. I think we had great players that we didn't know were going to be great that were surprises. I think that we had a great coaching staff. I think that um, we had great camaraderie. I think that we had great leaders. I think that we were just firing on all cylinders. You know, and that's kind of what happens. You know, sometimes the storm is brewing, the storm is brewing, and you don't know if it's the perfect storm or not, but it ended up being the perfect storm. And we ain't finished the season how we were supposed to, but um, we did a lot of things that a lot of people weren't able to do. So. Um, I mean, I guess so far, I say Coach McDonald. I mean, Coach Mender is, is a little bit more relaxed, I guess. But like, but we haven't hit a season yet, so you know, I can't say that yet. So yeah, we'll see about that. Uh, I mean, yeah, I don't really know too much different. I mean, both. I just love both of them. I mean, good coaches. I mean, just happy. I mean, like I said, we haven't done it before, at least my class. And I mean, it was just great, a great time. The vibes around campus was just happy. I mean, anywhere, anywhere in Michigan, for real, it was just happy and. You know, just looking forward to it, do it again. I mean, I was stuck on the field for like an extra 30 minutes, so that alone, I had enough people tell me good job that game. I mean, it was. Uh, I mean, well, we expect to win. That's the main thing going in. It's going to be a hostile environment. We know that. And but we just got to get it done. Uh, yeah, you can say that. But you always go into the game expecting to win. But since we did it, I guess you can say we were a little bit more confident. And so, yeah. What's about it? Uh, team Bodden, I mean, we've been with each other for what? I think three, four days now. We got three more days left. We gotta go straight back to it. I think they're. I'm not sure what they're doing today. I think ATVing or something. I'm not. I'm not sure. But it's just you know, team bonding is the main thing for real, and just having a good connection with your teammates. That that's a big part of having a good team. So.